the main points or the main point of the patient safety movement is that um, errors and uh, injuries caused by errors and mistakes are not caused by bad people but by bad systems. And the concept there is when you or I make a mistake, it's not because we're careless or don't, uh, don't know what we're doing and so forth. It's because um, the system has set us up to do something wrong and we fell into a trap. Um, simple examples of uh, for a nurse where uh, two medicines uh, that are very different are packaged in exactly the same. The containers look almost identical, so she mixes them up. Well, you can say she shouldn't do that, but it's much, you're much less likely to have that happen if you have containers that don't look alike, etc. cetera. Uh, that's a simple example, but there are many. So the, the theory is if you want to prevent mistakes, you recognize that humans are going to always be error prone, and so you try to design, you try to error proof your systems. Uh, we, we, we found, for example, uh, five or ten years ago that every now and then, it was very rare, but it happened uh, every, every year to half a dozen patients perhaps, patients uh, were injected with concentrated potassium chloride solution. Potassium chloride solution stops your heart. I mean, it's fatal when that happens. Nobody ever injects potassium chloride on purpose, but all the nurse has to do is mix up two vials thinking it's sodium chloride when it's potassium chloride, looks the same, fills the syringe, injects it, and it's all over. So that's a horrible thing to have happen. But we can totally prevent that by merely not having potassium chloride available on the, on the unit. That is, we don't need to have it available. We don't, we don't ever inject it directly. We add, put it in intravenous solutions. The pharmacists can do that. So a system solution is to say, we're going to remove that hazard by having the potassium chloride added to intravenous solutions in the pharmacy, and the nurse will not have that hazard there. That only happens once in a thousand, but once in a thousand is too much. So the whole concept is if we redesign systems, people will be less likely to make mistakes. If we play this all the way out and say every mistake is due to a systems failure, which I believe is true, I mean, I've yet to see one that isn't, uh, then uh, when a physician does something that seems awful, if we indeed can get him or her to believe and understand that it wasn't just their fault, that it was a bad system, that helps lift some of the burden of guilt from their shoulders. It also means they can begin to, to look at it in a constructive way and say, okay, now, how do we redesign that system so somebody else doesn't do the same thing two weeks from now? So the, the, the whole idea of safety is it's about the future. It's not about retribution, about what do you do for somebody that's made a mistake. It's about how do you keep that same mistake from happening again later on. And, uh, and so the emphasis on systems, I think, is also the antidote for the feelings of guilt and devastation and shame that physicians naturally have. You won't eliminate it. You still feel responsible. You were still the agent. You were still the vector that did it. But it helps uh, blunt, the, um, blunt the severity, I hope. One of the biggest problems in safety is we don't learn from our mistakes. We just had a tragic example of this in the last year. Uh, there was a uh, there were several babies who died from accidental uh, overdose of heparin in Indianapolis about uh, now almost two years ago, and then six months later the same thing happened uh, to Dennis Quaid's child out in Los Angeles. What's going on here? How come they didn't learn from that? How come every hospital didn't learn from that? And one of the one of the tragic things about um, American healthcare system is we don't have a we don't have a system, it's a system problem, for learning from each other's mistakes. I mean, things don't get publicized and disseminated and recommendations made and changes instituted. It's all up to individual organizations, individual doctors almost, and uh, that's got to change.